So, Steel, I know that when I went to visit you one time, we were looking at your hot toys. We had a microscope and we started looking at different designs up close, like really like microscopic level. And what originally seemed like a straight line actually was not. I don't know if you want to expand on that. You know, our eyes are our vision is limited, you know, by design. We we can only see so much with the naked eye. And when we look up closer with the microscope, we start seeing things that we don't see in our normal vision, in our normal everyday life that we pass by every day, you know? And like, so for example, the straight line, like you look at like a, like a ruler, I guess, for example, or like a straight piece of paper. And then the closer you get with the microscope, you start seeing all the little imperfections and you start seeing the little crevices and nudges in the line. And then you realize it's actually not a straight line, even though it looks like one. So yeah, from far away. Yeah, it's like when you get closer, you start seeing those, I, I guess I call them imperfections. Or I think it's the idea also. I, I've worked with design a little bit and, and done some, some designs myself. And usually the professionals are the ones that can go deeper into, into the artwork or into the, the pamphlet or whatever they're creating. And they can pick out details like, oh, no, move, move this uh, font to the left just slightly and then it'll be aligned and you know professionals can see that but to a naked eye it's just so much harder to see where where things should be but if you look at it from from far away though yeah it looks completely fine uh like do straight lines even exist yeah but, and like what you said in the beginning about computers uh, or our, our smartphones that we look at every day uh like they're just like pixels on a screen and yet we treat what we see on the screen as like a part of reality. And yeah. we take it so seriously, we take it so seriously that a text message uh, can, can make or break us mentally, you know? And, yeah. And like, or like, oh, we're running late. We're running late to an important event that's scheduled on our pixelated calendar on our pixelated phone screen. Or we're typing an important blog for our job, our writing job. Yeah, it's, or, or it's, applying to a, yeah, or applying to a job. job. Yeah. You know, and, and None of it's, this is going to determine the fate. Of, my, of our of what I do as a career, accounts. our bank accounts are digital. Uh, a lot of oh yeah, crypto. You know? it's all pixels on a screen that's projected by, and, and that's all an illusion. It's not really a physical projecting information. Yeah, the only thing that's physical is a screen, really, and and I'm sure like the electronic components, of course. But when it comes down to it, what we see on the screen right now is is really just an illusion of patterns of pixels and colors. That come together to form the image you know i know i'm talking to you i hear you talking to me through my earbuds and then i see you so i automatically think like oh i'm actually hanging out with yeah Steel. that's so true like our brain makes those connections even though we're not physically like hanging out or even really talking to each other necessarily we we feel like we're talking to each other and we feel like we're having a conversation and and the, the Zoom thing is so common with COVID now. It feels like we're like hanging out just like we normally would. In, in reality, you're right now is a your form of pixels on my computer screen, and the audio you're talking to me with your voice is like wavelengths, and it's just vibrations coming from my computer. You know, uh, the people who held the the warm coffee right uh, said that the person was caring, was kind was warm the the people who said that or held the cold coffee said they were cold-hearted distant okay. interesting how how the sense of touch changed their perspective of hearing yeah right I mean, and so i think about that does that affect other senses yeah, right yeah. does one sense affect the other sense and then the interpretation of what you're sensing there's also a condition called synthanasia i always have a hard time pronouncing it. synthanasia mm -hmm. or something like that uh, synesthesia it's where like the five senses mix together and you get really strange results like people say they can taste colors touch taste or, the rainbow yeah <laughs> well they can they can taste colors i mean not taste colors but taste shapes like they can see a triangle and taste it just by seeing it wow the wires or, or something with the five senses in their brains gets crossed and overlapped and so yeah so when that happens the the senses start overlapping and then before you know it, you can you know, see colors and taste shapes or, or will see sound, I should say. And they say when they see sounds like certain musical notes, it's 
consistent apparently across people i think and so like they'll hear a certain note on a piano and they'll see the color blue or see the color yellow on a different note on the piano our, phys our physical brain is designed a certain way and works a certain way with all the physical components and when those physical components change and the wires get crossed the neurons or whatever is controlling that aspect of perception and like the sense of touch gets overlapped with the sense of sight and you start getting strange new experiences that no one else experiences like it literally changes reality for us and so it just shows how how much a reality can change yeah like well do we even know what we're perceiving right now is real like i mean do we even know like it's accurate i guess i should say when you look under a microscope like this piece of paper right now like i see words on it and they look like they're perfectly straight lines but when we look under the microscope it's like the words you can see the ink like on the paper and the paper is like rough looking and, and it's all stringy and the ink is like splotty it's not perfect but right now it looks yeah. like it is so yeah, and even even if you print something out that looks straight and like we 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 saw in the hot toys which is you know they're supposed to be printed perfectly you see it from afar perfectly but then when you get closer it's little rugged lines yeah it's like not it's, like a rugged line yeah why do i see a straight line then yeah it's like the distance. is my is my mind making the straight line yeah, is, or is your mind simplifying reality itself to understand it better because oh. you know we talked about in a podcast oh. we talked about uh the blind spot in our vision how there's a there's a hole in the middle of our vision at all times but our brain fills in the gap so i wonder if like the straight line it's like our brain's filling in the gap yeah otherwise it would be too complicated you know but then we also yeah. know our vision is limited Ooh, maybe because yeah like you said maybe our, our brain can't compute like all the details and so yeah. it just generalizes and like sees the overall picture of reality it's like too overwhelming otherwise it, it would be too overwhelming yeah you know another thing that was really cool that we looked at the microscope was uh was that harvey dent and I remember when we looked at it